Pre-collision throttle management reduces the available acceleration in situations where the system detects that an impact with an object in front of the car is likely to occur. The EyeSight system recognises objects in front of the vehicle with which the vehicle is likely to impact if the driver applies excessive throttle. Once recognised, the engine output is restricted to reduce the possible impact force. This gives drivers the benefit of a reduction of frontal impact damage and potential prevention of a life-threatening situation should a driver mistakenly accelerate whilst an object is in close proximity directly in front of the vehicle. Often when drivers are moving from or into a car park space or when there is an object directly in front of them and they are distracted, they will mistakenly press the accelerator. This may result in an accident such as driving into a garage door, driving into a car park barrier or running into the back of the car in front. EyeSight is constantly monitoring the area in front of the vehicle for recognisable objects within its field of vision with which the vehicle is in danger of collision. If EyeSight detects an object in close proximity directly in front of the vehicle and the driver has made an excessive accelerator input, it will restrict the engine output. For example, pre-collision throttle management activates when an EyeSight vehicle is stationary with an object in front of it and the driver mistakenly engages drive instead of reverse. Or when the vehicle is moving forward within a speed range from zero to under 100 kilometers per hour and the driver is detected to have accidentally applied the throttle instead of the brake or too much throttle. When the pre-collision throttle management is activated, the system automatically sounds the warning, turns on a flashing indicator light on the instrument panel and restricts engine output to slow acceleration and give the driver time to brake. When the vehicle is stationary, engine output is usually low enough to prevent the vehicle climbing over a solid kerb or chock as seen in many Australian car parks. Where there is no kerb or chock, the system will not prevent the vehicle in moving forward at a lower rate of acceleration and impacting the detected object as the brakes are not automatically applied. The amount of forward acceleration available once the pre-collision throttle management is activated varies and depends on the relative vehicle speed and distance that the eyesight vehicle is from the detected object. At approximately one to three meters, engine output is restricted to approximately five to 10%. Another situation where this feature provides a significant benefit is when an eyesight vehicle is behind another vehicle at a busy intersection or roundabout. If the eyesight driver is looking to the right, for an available gap in the traffic, they may think the car in front has already departed without having visually checked to see if this is in fact the case, as they are still looking to the right. When a gap appears, the eyesight driver may accelerate, notwithstanding the car in front has not in fact moved. However, eyesight is constantly looking forward, and if it detects that the lead car is in fact still in front, the pre-collision throttle management will activate to restrict the engine output causing the eyesight vehicle to move forward slowly while sounding a warning, alerting the driver who can then brake to hopefully avoid an impact. Pre-collision throttle management is not designed to maintain the vehicle in a stationary position. In other words, the vehicle will move even if pre-collision throttle management is activated. Pre-collision throttle management is intended to limit damage when a collision is inevitable. Drivers should never intentionally attempt to activate pre-collision throttle management. A serious accident could occur if a deliberate attempt is made intentionally to activate the pre-collision throttle management and it does not activate. When activated, pre-collision throttle management will not avoid collisions altogether, only the severity of them. Pre-collision throttle management will not activate in all conditions. For example, the pre-collision throttle management is unlikely to activate if the object in front of the vehicle is a small animal or child, has an unusual aspect, is a low obstacle or when visibility is poor due to poor light, fog or heavy rain. <music>